welcome to my March plan with me. This month I decided on a universe theme, so everything from planets to constellations. And the reason I did that was because my birthday is in March. If you've seen my previous plan with me, you know that I've been incorporating more watercolors into my bullet journal. And in this month's plan with me, there is quite a lot. Um, my pages are super wavy now. If you have any recommendations for notebooks that, could that hold watercolor better, let me know. I might switch brands for my next bujo. But what I'm doing here is creating a bit of a galaxy type background. I used purples, blues and pinks to do that. Uh, I actually did this March post-it solely to mark where I would start planning March, but it turned out so pretty, I had to use it. <laughs> I um, Here I'm pasting in a painting that I did using kind of the same technique that I used for the background, but I used darker colors so that the constellation that I painted on, on it would be more visible. Uh, if you'd like to see a video where I show you how I did this, let me know in the comments. The constellation is of course Pisces because that's my sign. Um, and you will see it better in the close-ups at the end of the video. Or you've seen it in the intro. <laughs> I'm decorating the page with a lot of planet themed washi that is also in blues and purples. I got them from a friend for Christmas and they are so pretty. The big one with the plants is probably my favorite. I also doodle a bit here and there using my silver pen. Pen? Pen. <laughs> and I'm also uh, like jotting down a calendar just as an overview. And as usual, I'm searching for a quote on Pinterest. <laughs> I decided to use the one that said, if the universe didn't need you, you wouldn't be here. I thought uh, it tied in the two elements, like two main elements of this month, which is the universe and my birthday, uh, just perfectly.
little circle post-its to create some more planets. I pasted them in and then doodled some stars around them and some like circles or like rings like the one from Saturn to make them look more planety I guess. <laughs> Moving on to my calendar page, which turned out even bigger than last month. Um, here I'm simply using the same technique for the background as I did earlier on the like collage page or welcome page, whatever you want to call it. Um, with purples and blues. And actually, initially I wanted to use more blues so i wanted the main color to be blue but somehow it turned out to be more purple i don't know what happened but <laughs> i don't really mind it I, th I think it was because the blues were either too dark or too bright like too tur turquoise so i s stuck with purple <laughs>
Now I'm drawing in all of the squares for the days and while it is a pain to set this whole thing up, uh, I do love the look of the individual boxes opposed to like if you just, um, I don't know, how, do you know like the, just drew the calendar with lines that go straight through, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sure you know what I mean, I just don't know how to explain it. Um, but yeah, I messed up one of the boxes, so that took the decision from me how to do the numbers of the days, because then I was like, oh, I could just, um, I could just draw a little blue square in the corner, and I think it turned out perfectly. Here I'm sketching out the header and um, then I started to use my white Posca pen to paint it in but it wasn't opaque enough so I thought hmm it would be so much handier or more handy you know <laughs> if I had some kind of paint that I could use and then I remembered I had white acrylic paint right in front of me like literally I just had to look up and it, it was standing there <laughs> so I just used that Now I'm using a white gel pen to write in the like the date numbers and later on a blue Crayola to write the days of the month and then I'm finished. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this month's plan with me. I think it's a bit longer than the last few but let me know if you enjoyed that. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Also. Follow me on Instagram at Laura Journals if you want to see more of my bullet journal because I post my weeklies there and I know I've done monthly flip through in uh, some of my previous plan with me's but I don't know I just I mean this plan with me is almost 20 minutes without a flip through so just follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my bullet journal or let me know in the comments if you'd like to see flip throughs again and yeah that's it um here come the close-ups until next time bye Stable